Hello everyone, my name is Kelly Hoover and I am one of the detoxers that is going to be detoxing with you this month. I am so excited. I know I am doing it for my second time. So this video is all about trying to help you get prepared. If you are detoxing with this community as a group, we will be starting next Monday and um, all detoxing as a group. Some of you are already detoxing and some of you may start a little bit later. That is okay. This video is all about a few things that you can do to help prepare you. Okay. So one of the very first things to do as you are leading up to your detox is going and start drinking water. One of the best things that I did personally when I went around for the first detox is to find some water, like a cup of water, a jug of water, something that you know how many ounces is in here. So I know that this cup holds 25 ounces of water. So I know that I need to drink five cups. I'm trying to drink a gallon of water a day which is a lot, yes it is. You're gonna be going to the bathroom for number one, <laughs> clarifying that um, a little bit. So I, um, I just want you to know, find that and go on and start drinking your water, go on and start increasing. Depending on where you're at as you start the detox, probably depends on the water. I know for myself, coming from the holidays, I was around the house a lot more, I wasn't doing as much, and I got a little slack on my water, so I've been really trying to increase it. Kelly Boysen, good to see you. I hope that you can hear me okay. I was like, nobody is on here live, but I know it's inside a group, so hopefully you can hear me inside the detox group. Okay, but first tip is to start drinking water. As you're preparing for your detox, start hydrating your body. This is going to provincially prevents maybe a potential headache um, or anything like that that you have as you first get going. It's also gonna get your GI system starting to go. So find yourself a cup, know how many ounces. Now, what is your water goal? The detox guidelines say your water goal is 60 to 80 ounces, okay? I'm gonna encourage you, that's a great place to start. The next step would be drinking half of your body weight in water. Um, drinking half of your body weight in water is really great to do. And then if you wanna amp it up even more, you're like, I'm going all in on this detox, I wanna do the best that I can, then go even more. Drink a gallon of water, try to drink your body weight or close to it in water. So that is tip number one and how to prepare yourself. Tip number two is to plan. Go on and figure out what you're going to eat and when are you going to meal prep this food. One of the best things that you can do to prepare is think about this 10 day detox is five day increments. So day one through five, you can prep all of your food together and you can eat it for those five days. And then day six through 10, you can do the same thing. Now, if you haven't checked out the guides, there is a guide here in this group that has everything listed. There is a literally a shopping list and a meal plan and what to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for 10 days. Okay. So it is, it is laid out for you. Now, if you're a little bit like, okay, I want to make my own plan, but I don't know what to cook. There's another whole guide that has recipes and snacks and smoothies. So you can take that and you can make it. But tip number two is to plan when you're going to grocery shop and when you're going to cook. So I'll give you an example. I'm starting next Monday. I have blocked off three hours on Sunday to go get groceries and to meal prep. And I will be prepping. I know what I'm going to be prepping and I will be prepping that Sunday and it will be everything that I need Monday through Friday. And then I will prep again on Saturday for the following five days. So that is something I definitely would encourage you to do. Um, now I will also say to you, um, that I know sometimes people are like, I don't know if I, you know, I don't know if I'm going to like this or I don't know. If you want to do it every two days and just make one meal and then eat on that meal until you're done, that is cool too. But just have a plan going into it. All right. The third tip that I have for you today is if you're caffeine dependent, meaning coffee, meaning um, creamers, meaning sodas, energy drinks, all of those things, I want you to be prepared and have a plan for your caffeine intake. If you're a current thriver. You cannot use the human jumper cables, the capsules. You cannot use the lifestyle mix, but you can use the DFT foam patch. Regardless of your, if you're currently a thriver or you're not yet thriving, you're just detoxing, 
you can still use the patch, okay? And I would encourage you to do some. We do have some patches that have caffeine in them. And so if you're caffeine dependent, I would definitely choose that. There are some other options and you can find them within this group or ask your person who invited you into the community. Um, ask them about what are the other options. There are some caffeine approved sources, okay? It's just not creamers and sugars and coffees, okay? But if you're caffeine dependent, it's 10 days. You can do it. You can do it. I was very coffee dependent too, so I totally understand where some of you are coming from with that. But there are other options out there that are caffeine approved. They're natural forms of caffeine and not a synthetic form of caffeine. So that is the third thing to have a plan for that. The fourth thing is to have an accountability partner, to partner up with someone or this community. Go on and hit the favorite on this and pin this community to your favorites, to your featured, so you can come in and check in. If you have not yet seen, we are going to be doing a giveaway. It will be announced on the 10th of this month, so next Monday. But every time you come and check in and tell us how your detox is going, you get entered to win, all right? And so we're gonna be doing some fun giveaways. It'll be a great time. So day one, come and tell us, good or bad, hard or easy, whatever you're surprised by, come and do that with us. And that will be posted on the 10th of this month but having an accountability. So I will tell you for myself, I have a group of girlfriends and we are all detoxing together. Some are local, some are not. And we have a little group chat that people can ask questions about because some of them have detoxed with me in November and some are brand new. So have that. I also have another smaller set of group of girlfriends. We all detox together in November and it worked great. There were four of us. We have a little a group and we all made food and we split it up. So example, I may make a meal and I will divide it up and I will give them each a meal and they do the same. So you're eating different different food. So have an accountability partner. It's always huge and you'll have great success. All of us had great success. All right. And so the fat, the last thing is to ask questions. If you have any questions about anything, please ask, please post in this group. This is your community. We want you to post. We want you to share. We want you to ask questions. Um, anything like that at all, Come back in here, utilize the resources. There is so many things in the guide section. So I hope that this helps prepare you a little bit for your detox in January. And we cannot wait to see less of you in two weeks. All right, guys, have a great day. Make it a great day for others.